Okay, welcome back to part two of making the breakfast bar soap. In part one, we prepared all of the prep work, weighed all the oils, and all of the additives and ingredients that are going into the soap, and I showed you how you temper your eggs and how to use your eggs in an egg soap. So now I'm getting ready to just pour in my lye and get started on the soap making business part of this. Okay, I'm at a light trace. The first thing I'm gonna be mixing in is gonna be my oats and my spices. I want these to be mixed in very thoroughly. Okay, the next thing I'm adding in is going to be my honey. This honey is a little thick because it's starting to crystallize a little bit, but it doesn't really matter in the soap. It will mix in just fine. I just wish I happened to be using a stronger spoon. This makes it sweeter. Mommy, it makes it. Silly. You're being silly? Yes, and then the boy gonna fall down and then just fall down and then fall down and then he just kisses. Okay, go watch a show. Just like it's silly. You're silly. The kids are watching Little House on the Prairie and they think it's just the greatest thing in the world. so sticky, I'm probably going to have to change my gloves. Yeah, let me go do that. And in case you're wondering why I choose disposable gloves, I used to use reusable gloves and they just don't make a glove that is high enough quality for me that can withstand the type of punishment I put them through. So it's just one of those things that I'm going to have to do with disposable because um, these will handle a batch of soap or whatever I have to do, but the other ones, the other ones just break. Okay, so I'm mixing in the honey right now, and I'm going to go add the olive oil and beeswax. Which they are melted down. Oh, so hot. This makes it really thick, so I don't want to beat it too hard because I don't want to get it all bubbly right before I pour. Oh, so something crazy just happened in my laundry room. It's flooding right now. So I hope that's okay. But I'm in here making soap, so that's all I have to worry about at the moment. I don't know what's going on out there. Okay. I think 
think someone was messing with the plumbing. I don't know. Okay, I'm ready to pour. I should get two loaves and some samples. These are the new um, loaf molds that I purchased. They're just like the green ones, except they're clear. That's going to be a big sample of if I can fit one. Yeah. I'm going to cut samples. Okay, so now my topping is some more um, toasted oats cinnamon. Okay, I'm going to take my goggles off right now to do this. This makes the, the top surface very, very scrubby. Okay. <laughs> Still topping the soap. These oats absorb a lot of the soap while they, uh, you know, do their soapy thing, and they become like really soapy exfoliants. And it's only on the top. So there's a uh, ground oats throughout. Now I need cinnamon. Plenty of cinnamon on the top. Okay, and I'm done. Now I'm just going to, um, I'm putting them in a preheated oven that's set at 170, but I'm not cooking them. I only put it in there because I find it's the best way to insulate these molds, is just to put them in an area where the air is a little bit warm. I want it to go through gel, but I don't want to cook it like a CPOP. So that's what I do for the breakfast bar soap. Make sure I get all these good ingredients in the soap, not on the rim where they don't really do anybody any good. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna stick them in the oven now. Bye.